Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. And it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So before we get into the NHL action for December the 15th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools you will need to make your picks more successfully. So the NHL season has reached the one-third point, and we have a light schedule for Wednesday, but we still have three games to take a look at, so let's get started here. So the first game we want to look at is... Scroll down. The Washington Capitals and the Chicago Blackhawks. The Capitals enter play with the best record in the Metropolitan Division, and have a record of 8-3-2 on the road. The Blackhawks have struggled... They are 7th in the Central Division and are 5-6-1 at home. Washington is plus 23 on the power ranking indicator as we take a look right here. Plus 23. And Chicago has been steady at plus 9. If you look over the last 6 games, Washington is 3-3. Three three. They are winners of their last game and 3 of their last 4. While Chicago is coming off of a 5-4 loss. They are also 3-3 three three over their last 6. Chicago is average down, and Washington is average. You notice that Washington is a road favorite, a pretty strong road favorite, 1.69 to 2.362. If you take a look at the uh, totals here, you can see over in four or five of the last six games for Washington and over in five of the last six games for uh, Chicago. That's a good indication uh, to bet the over. Now let's take a look at the score prediction. The score prediction of 4-3 to three also indicates the fact that this is a game that very well could go over the line. 4-3 uh, to three in favor of Washington with confidence in prediction of 62%. If you see at how stable the two teams have been, how consistent have they been forming according to their favorite and underdog status, you can see that both teams are very stable as well. Washington at plus 8 and Chicago at plus 7. Let's take a look at the Money line, it really hasn't shown much here yet. Okay, public percentage is money line yet. It's really not showing much of anything yet at the moment. And also, um, the goalies have not yet been set for this game either. One other thing to note is that Washington has a scoring differential of plus 26. Plus 26 compared to minus 24 for Chicago. That's a very large discrepancy. I really believe that Washington will take this one on the road in a relatively easy, easy fashion by more than one goal. The New York Rangers at Arizona Coyotes. The Rangers head into the contest with the third best record in the Metropolitan Division and the Coyotes are last in the Central Division. You can see the Rangers are average status right now. They lost their last game and they lost two of their last three and are four and two over their last six. Arizona has, is dead. They have lost five out of their last six games. They only won on a one nothing win against Winnipeg back on November the 29th. You can see that the Rangers are a huge favorite of 1.588 to 2.595. And in fact, the Rangers have an incredible 10-3-2 record on the road. And Arizona is just 2-9-1 at home. And also, the scoring differential here, um, Arizona has been, has been outscored by 53 goals this season while the Rangers are plus 11 in the scoring differential. So not surprisingly, there's a large advantage here for the Rangers on the power ranking indicator. In fact, it's pretty much as large as it can be at plus 30 compared to zero. If you look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see the Rangers are trending in games under the line. Arizona trending in games as well, but they're trending in games over the line lately. So I would avoid the over-under in this one. Let's take a look at the score predictor and see what this has. The score predictor has the Rangers by a 4-2 margin with a confidence in prediction of 74%. I intend to lean towards that as well. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator first to see how stable the two teams have been. Look at this. Arizona extremely stable according to their favorite underdog status. And most of the time they are underdogs and they've been losing most of their games. And the Rangers are also very stable at plus 9. I don't see that there's any way that Arizona can really stay in this contest. The Rangers will win by at least two goals. The last game of the day is the Seattle Kraken at the Anaheim Ducks. In the Pacific Division matchup, the first place Ducks take on the last place Kraken. The Ducks have won 3 out of their last 4 and are 3-3 three and three over their last 6. And their status right now is average. The Kraken have lost their last 3 
and they are 2-4 and four over the last six, and they are ice cold down. Anaheim is 9-4-2 at home, while the Kraken is just 3-7-2 and two on the road. Another thing to take note is that the scoring differential, the Ducks are plus 12, while the Kraken is minus 21. You see that Anaheim is a huge favorite of 1.7 to 2.342. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, uh, Anaheim was at plus 24 just a few days ago. They are at plus 20 now. And the Kraken, they're up as high as plus 12 back on the 6th of December. And then they're now down to plus 8. If you consider the over and under in this game, the Kraken are playing in games trending over the line. So is Anaheim. This is a very good indication to bet the over. But let's take a look at the score prediction. The score prediction has Anaheim in a 5-2 blowout win with confidence in prediction of 59%. Uh, let's just see how stable the two teams have been first before we make our pick and how we will bet. You see Anaheim is at plus 7. They have been very stable. Seattle has not been very consistent at all. They're at minus 1. Not very much of a surprise there. So really, there's really very little indication again in this contest that Seattle has much of a chance against Anaheim. I really like the Ducks on this one in a blowout win. So there you have it. Just a uh, small slate of games for the day. Only three games, but there should be some good matchups here. Should be some interesting games. Maybe it'll be a surprise, but I really don't think so. I think there's going to be a couple blowout wins here in this. But there you have it. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.